Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to the Summerton Airport. It's been a while since I've done a flying video so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to head out to an airport I haven't been to in probably about five or six years. So we're going to head up to Lake Havasu. It's a really cool airport just north of here. Got a good place to eat so I'll tell you what, let's jump in the plane and let's get going. Alright everybody, welcome uh, to today's flight. We're going to head out to, like I said, uh, Lake Havasu. Mainly because I haven't been in there in a while and it's a fun flight. So let me uh, do the run up, put in my flight plan, and uh, we'll get back to you. Summerton in traffic, Summerton in all 8, leaving November, taking runway 1. Uh, taking runway 35, going to depart the area to the north, Summerton. Full power. Plenty of... There we go. Ready to climb, looks good. Summer traffic, from in all 8 November, left crosswind, runway 35, departing the area to the north, Summerton. Yuma approach, experimental, minor 18, Lima, November. Experimental, 8, Lima, November, Yuma approach, Fed. Yeah, but, uh, uh, sorry, experimental, uh, Zenith, uh, just off of Summerton, going through 1,300 feet, uh, going to be uh, looking for flight falling up to uh, Lake Havasu, Kilo Hotel, India, India. 8, Lima, November, uh, squad 4645. Four six four five eight Lima November. From uh, eight Lima November, radar contact five West Lima Airport one thousand eight hundred. Position correct eight Lima November. And I uh, say up to climb to your nerve. Uh, five thousand five hundred eight Lima November. Okay. Haven't been up to fifty five hundred in a while, so why don't we head up that high? Uh, especially with how long this flight is, I can lean it out a little more and get a little more uh, fuel economy out of this thing. Yeah, now we're direct flight. Five up, a little more to go, and then uh, time to get to the cruise. Beautiful day today, so it's a little bit hazy outside, which that's a good thing. That actually means it's smooth because the air is nice and stable. If it's not, if it's really, really clear, then you know it's going to be, it could be either be somewhat bumpy, really bumpy, or, and the weird chance it's actually kind of smooth if it's cool outside. But today it's just about that perfect amount of haze where you can see a good ways, it's really nice looking outside, but it's not bumping you around at all. Kind of nice that way today. So after this flight, I'm going to be uh, pulling this plane apart. I'm going to be putting in a uh, another fuel tank. And uh, doing some other mods, I got some new grips, so I can put a push to knock on the grip. And um, I've got the uh, antenna coming in for the uh, VOR ILS, so at that point I can actually fly IFR, limited IFR in this aircraft. So, anyways, that's the plan. Is once this flight's done, I'm going to go to the Lake Havasu traffic, spread metal, 918, Lima November is 20 miles to the uh, south-southwest, going to be uh, inbound for runway 32, Lake Havasu. Alright, we're going to start our descent down to 1400 feet for Lake Havasu traffic. That's just an awesome little mountain right there. Just to the uh, south of Lake Havasu, you see the city of Lake Havasu. Right off my nose, and we're going to swing up to the north there. And Havasu traffic experiment all night, one Lima November is on a left base runway 32, full stop, Havasu.
Havasu traffic's from NL8 in the mid November, final runway 32, Havasu. Welcome to Lake Havasu. 